Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, we're going to be discussing the brand new update Rockstar Games just rolled out a few hours ago, which does address the off the radar glitch, the give cards to friends glitch, and the god mode glitch. However, I'm also going to be letting you guys know about a massive glitch that Rockstar Games haven't patched as of right now, plus a lot more. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so first things first and getting into some quick hot fixes that Rockstar Games have gone ahead and addressed. So they have fixed an issue with the Stunt Forest, which was a Rockstar race prop disappearing. They've also fixed an issue with vehicle rewards, including the Virtue, the Armored Paragon R and the Weevil, where after completing the missions, players would not receive the rewards. I've seen a ton of you guys commenting this on my videos that I've made on these reward vehicles ages ago. I have noticed more specifically a ton of players not receiving the BF Weevil, which you do receive from English Dave. So if you guys are one of those players that haven't received this free card that you can see on screen right now, I will leave a link to a video down below in the comment section and the description showing you guys exactly how you can go about getting this car for free straight away as Rockstar Games have now patched a bug which was resulted in players not receiving the reward vehicles. Of course, the Virtue is a free card that you guys get from DAX from completing the Drug Wars missions. So also players were experiencing not receiving the free car from DAX. And of course, the Virtue probably is the most expensive out of these free reward vehicles. So you guys should also be receiving the Virtue from DAX. And of course, finally, the Armored Paragon R is the reward vehicle for completing all of the casino missions. So a lot of you guys may have not even realized this because you might have been hit with this bug previously and you've not received any of these cars for free. So hopefully now all of you guys can go ahead and get these cars for free straight away. And if your game still is bugged out and you're not receiving any of these free vehicles, I will leave a link down below in the description to the Rockstar Games website where you guys can open a ticket and explain to Rockstar Games that you still haven't received any of these free vehicles. Now they've also gone ahead and patched an auto shop god mode glitch. You can no longer view the phone job list whilst inside the auto shop. So they have took no risks whatsoever with this god mode glitch. I'm sure a ton of you guys have seen players using this auto shop god mode glitch recently and it looks like the only way Rockstar Games could patch it was by basically stopping players by even accessing the phone job list whilst inside the auto shop which of course you guys would have to have done in order to go ahead and do this god mode glitch now apparently they haven't patched the casino god mode glitch me personally i haven't gone ahead and tried it but if you guys do use god mode glitches or you do test glitches out do be sure to leave a comment down below and speaking about the casino god mode glitch they have patched the casino penthouse entrance for both off the radar and the give cards to friends glitches of course rockstar games don't ramp when it comes to money glitches in gta 5 online so i think it was obvious rockstar games was going to patch the give cards to friends glitch rapidly however they've also gone ahead and patched the sprint race to car merge glitch so i know a lot of you guys do like these merge glitches that glitch has now been patched by rockstar games and they've also gone ahead and made a patch on the LSA operation known as Whistleblower where after raiding the IAA facility you could go back to the IAA substation to, to press right on the d-pad to skip the mission so that has now also been patched and finally the create a prop whitelist is now disabled on all platforms so Rockstar Games have gone ahead and patched quite a few glitches with today's hotfix update of course, the main ones being the give cards to friends glitch, the off the radar glitch, and the auto shop god mode glitch. So if you guys do come across these glitches and they have been posted before making this video, it's more than likely they have already been patched. Now, speaking about one thing that hasn't been patched yet, in case you guys missed my video yesterday, there is a crazy bug going around right now in GTA 5 Online, and this is on all platforms, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC, where certain players are having insurance removed from their personal vehicles. 
Now, a lot of you guys may be thinking this is no big deal. However, it is kind of a big deal because if your uninsured vehicles get destroyed, you guys will end up permanently losing that vehicle from your character, especially considering some vehicles in the game now could set players over three, four, five million dollars. So if you guys end up losing a few vehicles and you don't realize that Rockstar Games bug has accidentally removed the insurance from these vehicles, then you guys, like I said, have no way of getting these vehicles back. Now Rockstar Games actually went ahead and acknowledged this glitch last night. They went ahead and said this, we are aware of an issue with vehicles and the loss of vehicle insurance in GTA Online. We are currently working to resolve this and will share an update as soon as it is available. So Rockstar Games have acknowledged that this bug is very real for all of you guys that were doubting is it even really a thing. So if you guys haven't already, what you want to do is just sign into GTA 5 Online, go into an invite only session, simply head over to all of your garages, press down on your d-pad to quickly look on top of your cars to see if they are insured or not you can take them over to the auto shop where you can insure them for free however if you guys do take them to ls customs and they do have a ton of mods on them the insurance is going to set you guys back a ton per vehicle so what you're better off doing is just leaving it if you don't have an auto shop and waiting until rockstar games addresses this bug or goes ahead and fixes it and like I mentioned earlier, if you guys already have been affected by this bug, what you can go ahead and do is create a support ticket over on the Rockstar Games website and simply explain to them what vehicles you lost along with your gamer tag and they'll be able to go ahead and check if that is the case or not. So I know a few of you guys might be thinking, is this an opportunity to lie to Rockstar Games and pretend you lost some vehicles to get some free ones back? It will probably be a waste of time as they will be able to check if you guys have previously owned a vehicle or not. So quite a few things to get through in today's video. Like I said, Rockstar Games really have been on top of it since the DLC launch. There has been a ton of bugs and glitches. And like I said, a lot of the community just not happy with them. Overall, with the DLC launch and them removing nearly 200 vehicles from the game, hopefully this is a sign that Rockstar Games really aren't caring too much about GTA 5 these days and are fully focusing on GTA 6 and perfecting that game for launch day and only today there has been some more leaks to do with GTA 6 which I will be covering in a future video so make sure you guys do turn notifications on so you do keep up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 and GTA 6 news however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you do appreciate me keeping up to date with all of the latest news all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video